Welcome to Get Offset. My name is Emily, and aren't you looking cute as a button today? I just want to like pinch those cheeks. No, no, <laughs> that that was satisfying for me personally. <laughs> well, I'm here today with uh, this mug, and that's pretty much it. I'm not actually demoing anything today. I had bought some stuff from Old Blood Noise Endeavors, which I didn't need, including this mug. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to look through some pedal companies and see who has the best merch. Definitively, which pedal brand that I know and love has the best non-pedal merch. So let's get to it. All right, I'm starting with the company that started <laughs> this, this idea because I have so much dumb merch that I adore from Old Blood Noise Endeavors, including this Wash 5 panel hat, this old B and E winter cap. I don't know why I said it like that. I was torn between saying old and O. Oh, it came out weird. Uh, <laughs> and this is the diner mug that I have. It is, I just love, it's very ergonomic. I'm just not gonna stop talking about this mug. Very ergonomic, like the perfect size. My little copper cow coffee nests very snugly in there. And it's only 10 bucks. This is a great mug. And this wash five panel hat, I have it in purple. Uh, does it look good on me? I don't know. I'm a hat guy. I like hats, even if they don't like me. But uh, it's it's nice. It's floppy. I like a floppy cap. 10 out of 10. But the real player right now is this winter cap. I have it in this mustard color. Are they calling it gold? Gold. It is more of a gold than a mustard. It doesn't like poof up. I'm a big fan. Let's take a look at what else they've got. They have a candle kit, that's interesting. A bunch of shirts with the pedal art and they have great pedal art. So I'm super duper into that. Um, I don't like the camo. The zipper hoodie is pretty basic, um, simple. So if you like that, that's neat. Doesn't exactly light my fire. There's little pocket notebook kits. I'm pretty sure I have one of those floating around somewhere. It's from the float. Buttons, bottle opener, the glass coffee mug, which I also have and like to drink my lattes out of it because it just looks so pretty. And a stemless tumbler, and this is really neat. I like this one a lot. I wanna drink wine out of that, man. <laughs> um, yeah, it's this dishwasher safe. They also have these bucket hats and I would like to know who's wearing bucket hats. If you're wearing a bucket hat or if you do wear bucket hats, let me know in the comments. I am very curious. So all in all, Old Blood Noise Endeavors has a lot of merch, tons of shirts in different colors, including long sleeve. Would love to see a tank top in there. I'm a, I'm a tank top person. This is a tank top under here. It says failure for my Kathleen Edwards fans. Um, they have small stuff, big stuff, magnets. They've got everything. Uh, so I would rate this really, really highly in my worldview of who has the best merch. It's going to be hard to beat. Next, I want to take a look at a company that I think has a pretty similar aesthetic to Old Blood Noise Endeavors, and that's Chase Bliss. And they do have some similar stuff. They have uh, the manuals. You can, you can buy these. Five bucks for a manual. They're pretty cute. Gift cards, shirts, a very similar cap with a much smaller logo. It's I like that logo. It's very 90s to me. It reminds me of the 90s a little bit. Um, and it comes in two colors, olive green and blue navy. So not as many color options as Old Blood Noise Endeavors. Um, the, the sweater is um, just has a really compact logo, which is nice. I think that their hoodie is a lot more interesting. Let's see if there's anything on the back. Not that we know of. Uh, which is fine. I actually, I really don't like it when shirts have just a little thing in the front and a big thing on the back because one, no one ever sees in the videos and two, my hair kind of covers a lot of it. They have a lot of t-shirts there. It's hard to tell, but sometimes you just look at a material and you're like, I don't know if that's going to be soft or not. So this says t-shirt fits like a well-loved favorite. So I hope that means it's soft. The generation loss is kind of an interesting logo. They have cassette tape, Notes to Myself by Courtney Swain. I like that they sell music. 
That Jen Lost pen is really, really cool. Ah, uh, sweater with a bigger logo. I like that a lot more. Jumble sweatshirt. Onesies. I used to have onesies on the Get Offset store and nobody ever bought one. Though I did send them to a few Patreon supporters who had babies. And a really nice selection of pens. This, I love this Starby shirt. That's really cute. Words and music in 60 seconds. What is that? This is a deck. $55. My God. This deck of 75 cards provides a unique and expire inspiring look inside the art of songwriting and collaboration. Written and designed by Grammy-winning hit songwriter and producer Dan Wilson of Semisonic fame. <laughs> this deck distills his insight from nearly 30 years of writing, performing, and collaborating with the world's most prominent musical artist, Adele. Each individual card contains a brief and inspiring piece of advice for songwriters, musicians, and other creative people. Uh, I would love just like an example. There we go. If you like it, then it's good. If it sounds good to you, then it sounds good. Now play it for a friend. That's okay. I'm not sure I'd pay $55 for that, but it's interesting. Um, oh, and more music. That's really cool. A lot more music and that's it. So not a ton of shirts, but kind of plenty. Like Old Blood has a lot of shirts. Cool. That's okay. I wouldn't rate that as highly as Old Blood Noise Endeavors selection, but it's a pretty solid little collection of merch. All right. So now we're going to my home state, Ohio, for Earthquaker Devices. We're starting off with this vintage Octo Skull hat. I love the Octo Skull logo. I actually, I do have a piece, a few pieces of merch from Earthquaker. Um, I'm not sure if they still sell it. No, it doesn't look like it. They tend to rotate through their featured products. So I'll look at apparel, but um, they have their own hat. It's kind of a vintagey, like acid wash kind of vibe, um, denim -y. And it's just a standard dad cap. Um, I like the Old Blood one a little bit better. It's definitely more hipster, but I like it. I have this oversized tie-dye shirt. I didn't find it to be particularly oversized, uh, but it's, I like the tie-dye color of it. It's really, it's a nice, it's a nice shirt. It's kind of a thick material, um, but that's fine. The Octo Skull Crew Neck Sweatshirt. I'm glad we're back to like making a crew neck sweatshirt that it's just like a sweatshirt that you can wear under a jacket. I got really sick of having like the only merch in this kind of genre being a hoodie because then you have to pull it out from behind your jacket. And then if your jacket has a hood, you're double hooding it and that doesn't make it more effective. <laughs> All right. So this hoodie comes in uh, different colors. You can see them down here, but can you see them? That pink. Ooh. Picking the old blood route or maybe old blood was taking their route. I like this. I like that red. I like that nice, what do you call this? A maroon? They call it maroon. That's nice. I like it. Um, let's see if they still have, this is a kind of a bigger, taller beanie. I don't like this kind of beanie very much. Um, it just feels like, well, my singer calls it like a condom beanie. <laughs> Uh, we're late enough in the video that I'm not going to get demonetized for saying that the, I'm a sucker for like the three quarter sleeve. I like the pride logo on that. Um, let's see what else I got. I have a running shirt from them that I wear when I work out sometimes, but I don't see it. They have a lot of shirt options with the pedal art, like old blood. So I really like that. You get to show off whatever your favorite pedal is. It makes it a little bit more interesting, I think. Like you see, you see somebody wearing this, and you're like, "Oh, you have great taste in reverbs and delays." Respect. I think I have. I think the Avalanche run I have is from Fabi of She Shreds. I bought it from her. They have posters. <laughs> the mug, standard, kind of boring. If I got sent that mug, I'd be like, "Eh." See this mug. I like it's just it's just a little different. It's not like the diner style. I don't really like the diner style. They're kind of heavy and they take up space, but this is just like a perfect mug. I can't stop talking about this mug. I paid for it. Throw blanket. 
that's fun. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's photo real. It's not just the logo, it's got the foot switches. Oh, that's so funny. I, I don't want one particularly, but I do want one if you know what I mean. Oh my gosh, that's so neat. Posters, posters. Oh, beach towel, that's fun. Tentacle, very appropriate for the beach. Oh my God, that's so great. Oh, that's that's just, that's very subtle. I like the subtle stuff, um, like this mug. Like, you know it's from a pedal company, but you're not, nobody else does. Like, it's kind of like an if you know, you know kind of thing. And I find that really, really cool. I love that. And then the special cranker, nice. I like this one the best, the arachnoid. Um, what else we got? Anamata pedal. Oh, that's, those are just like the shirts and stuff. Neck gaiters. I can always use a good neck gaiter. The Pika Pika, which is weird, I forgot. I'm... Oh, I like that. Oh, that's all the petals. That's cool. I, that This is my favorite. I think black would probably be, yeah, more my speed. I actually really like the crimson. I usually wear a black um, denim and I think this crimson would pop with it. Kids, onesies. Well, you can still dress your kids to match your own <laughs> interests. <laughs> this is a really good, really good collection. A little, it's not, it doesn't fit on one page. So there's probably a little you can get rid of, but I really like it. Um, probably like an eight out of 10. Okay, let's take a look at JHS merch. I used to have a JHS shirt. It was the Emperor. So featured, we got some really nice looking enamel pens. This color box, that's a based on a Neve console. That's really nice. The unicorn. These are subtle because like the, their designs are subtle. It's not just like the petal on a shirt. And Old Bloods wasn't either. If we want to take a look back at that, it's, it's the actual art from the petal, not the petal itself. Um, but these pens, they're, they are those kinds of, if you know, you know, things. I love that. JHS, the rarest of all books. This looks like a children's book. Is it one of those children's books that's not actually for children? By Josh and Alex Scott. Got some pages to look at here. Hmm. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> There's an ale. <laughs> oh gosh, this just kind of reminds me of the Charlie the Unicorn video, which is one of my favorite videos of all time. Let's just go to apparel, straight to apparel. Shirts, JHS pedals, JHS pedals suck. He's always done a good job about like self-depreciating humor. I have the box, just try stuff. So I'm assuming these are all things that they've said on the YouTube channel or in forums and stuff. Just try stuff is actually just fantastic advice. Let's look at that. Oh, don't try that. <laughs> That's just funny. That's just funny. I like that it's, it seems more about the show than the effects. Like they have that, like this icon shirt. Um, and then this is just a phase shirt isn't even their phaser. Schematics. Record time, I have. and then a loud is more good onesie, which I can't say I agree that that is the case. You know, you know, crying baby is a baby that's alive. So that's isn't that what they say to parents who just just take fifteen minutes and go outside. You just can't handle it anymore. Just, your kid's gonna be okay for fifteen minutes. Accessories, uh, pens, 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 book. Sticker pack, oh, oh, oh. Am, okay, it may just be that I'm a woman, but mm. can someone explain to me what the Morning Glory logo is actually supposed to be? Because when I see it, all I see is my IUD. It's just, it's just, and then we have this Daniel Danger collaboration and sorry, there are no products in this collaboration. Did I miss it? Is it coming? Who knows? 
Next, we're going to look at Boss Roland, and they have a whole ass dedicated website, RolandLifestyle.shop. Um, obviously, Roland isn't just guitar pedals. They have a lot of gear um, from the, I said like the SPK Mark II. I think I have, I have one there. But um, they have so much cool stuff. It is boggling. Like this, this, they have a varsity jacket. That's so cool. Man. They have these, um, these shorts. They have another good looking beanie. This, this work jacket thing. I, I like this style. It's not, it doesn't behoove me, but I really think it's a nice style. It's very subtle. Like it just has that little Roland Osaka Japan logo on it. Like this is like, um, a dugout kind of like, like the, the, the jacket and uh, groundskeeper kind of thing. Work jacket truly is. Canvas, rough material, these old school kind of pockets. I think the, people might call these chore coats sometimes. It's got uh, adjustable around the waist and has this hidden inside pocket. Um, I have something like this from Ebbetsfield Flannels and mine also has this little like pencil holder in the side. It's like mine is literally made for ground, ground crews uh, for baseball. A wear button down, so just like a button down shirt. More hats, a trucker style cap. Those have not been big in a long time and I hope they never come back. Track jackets, jerseys. Very much you can tell kind of what their audience is from, from these featured, oops, from these featured products. Sweatpants, gray sweatpants, God bless. Um, shirts. Was that, oh, that was everything. Okay. So that was all that wasn't even featured. You got drumsticks. It's very different from the other styles. The other styles tend to lean hipster. This seem, this definitely seems to lean more what you would call maybe urban. Um, but that is just like kind of, maybe kind of knowing your audience. I assume I'm not the audience, but it's really cool stuff. I see ads for these things all the time. Like, look at this 808 tote bag. I love that. I really love that. I'm not an 808 person. I do enjoy listening to music, but like, this is a really nice looking canvas bag. It looks, I don't need another one of these, but I'm so sick of the little like 12 by 12 totes. I just wish people would stop giving me those. No offense if you've given me one, I've probably given it away. Not really a guitar pedal company again, but one I wanted to check out because I do think their merch is super, super cool. Now we're zipping up to the Pacific Northwest with Cattle and Bread based in Portland, Oregon. <laughs> I'm gonna start with their tribute trip because uh, when, when, you, when you have the tribute pedal, you don't see the full art. And I feel like the full art, let me zoom in on this, find, find my zoom. Is it's a little much for me. I don't know why. Just like the whole of it, like, is kind of strange. I like the the, the smaller portion of it, but that's that's a pretty pretty cool design overall. It's, it's not for me, and that's totally fine. Let's see what else they've got. This really sick hat with the hand. It does to me just kind of look like a patch sewed onto sewn onto a hat, and that's exactly what it is. So that kind of makes me wonder how it's going to fit. Here's another hat. It's a, that's definitely a five panel hat. This is not my style. I, I know some people who, who, you know, it would be their style. They call it a five panel camper style. I don't know if this picture is just unflattering, um, but just the shape of it seems a lot weird. Like if you go to old blood noise and look at their uh, five panel hat, it's, uh, you know, it's a different kind of paneling. This is what this is what I think of when I think of a five panel hat. It's just not my thing. I have this beanie, but with a leather patch. I wear it. It's nice. It's very warm, soft, stretchy. Great hat. And then more shirts with pedal artwork. Very neat. So you can pick your favorite pedal. The Sabra Cadabra is a nice one. Gigas. Epic. Oh, that's really cool. This Epic Boost shirt. Oh, I love that. Zoom. Nice. Does at a point the zoom in just zooms out in a weird way. Oh, mechanisms of music. That's a great shirt. 
I like that. I would wear it as a um, sleeveless, as a tank top. And then the other simple triangle logos, sticker packs, posters. I'm trying to decide if I think like a pedal poster is a cool thing or not. I think it'd be a cool thing to have in a music room. That That's my final assessment, especially the epic boost. I just love that. Man, it looks like a non-narrative, like zombie moon, movie kind of thing. Very neat. Is there any merch I missed? There's just 29 products all on one page. Really good range of products. A couple different hats, a sweater, which I think the T Topanga Burnside sweater is really cool. The clothes, this is the kind of, this is what I'm talking about when, when I say I, like, the kind of shirt I don't like. This just right there and then everything cool on the back. That's just not flattering on my body. I think it's definitely more suited to like men to be blunt. And that seems to be like what several of these shirts are. And then they have the, the ones with just the big logo on the front, which the big square logo also doesn't really look good on my body, but that's just a yeah, personal, personal stuff. All right. Well, thank you for watching this very non-traditional video. <laughs> I just thought it'd be a fun thing to do. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If there are any companies, pedal companies specifically, whose merch is awesome and I didn't get to, please let me know in the comments um, and let me know if you like this kind of content. Maybe I'll do guitar companies or like traditional amp companies next. I don't know. It's just pedal companies. They have so much design on a regular basis whenever they release a new pedal. It's a new design. And they do love slapping that on merch. And I can't blame them at all. I didn't get to my merch. Let's rate my merch. Oh my God. We have the For Fuzz Sake shirt. This is our best selling item. Big ups to Andrew for coming up with the name. It has a little schematic on it from the Mount Hood Fuzz. That was a limited edition fuzz we did with Spruce Effects. And it says For Fuzz Sake on it. What's not to like about that? We also have the traditional logo shirt the For Fuzz Sake Snapback and Beanie. And uh, we have the Fangs shirt that uh, if you've listened to the episodes with Michelle Sullivan, you you know what that means. The Get Offset Tank Top. I wear that so much that I now need to buy a new one because it's falling apart after like four years of wearing it like once a week. But this is my favorite. This is our newest piece of merch. It is the Emily Dumb Face shirt. That is the official name of it. And I have no idea who this is. This is a stock photo model. And that's... <laughs> My dumb face. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. Thanks for understanding. Let me know in the comments if I missed any Palo companies that have sick merch. Let me know if you liked this video and you want me to do more kinds of things like this. Um, like, comment, subscribe for more content. Mostly it's demos and the podcast. Sometimes it's stuff like this. Uh, sometimes we'll watch TikToks on live. Who knows? It's always fun and a uh, surprise. But to everybody out there, uh, keep looking as cute as you do. It takes a lot of work to look that adorable. And I wanted to voice my appreciation for it. So uh, yeah, until next time, my name is Emily. Goodbye.